is me. Um, I have been wanting to do a like romanticy vlog for a minute now, and so I have a few fantasy romances that I've wanted to try. Um, so I figured what like this would be the best time to do it, I guess. Um, so I have a few books that I want to read for this vlog. And then hopefully I enjoy them. I guess I'm just trying to see if fantasy romance is for me. Like I'm trying to find a new series I can obsess, obsess over since um, a lot of the ones I really love are ending this year. Uh, especially the Play to Prisoner series. Some of the ones I want to work on are um, Spark of the Everflame by Penn Cole because I've had heard really good things about this one. Then I have When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. Um, this is one I've heard a lot of people talk about so I figured I would give it a chance even though it's really chunky. Um, and then the last two books I am, I'm gonna throw into this vlog are Powerful and then Reckless by Lauren Roberts. This is the novella between book one and book two, and then this is book two of Powerful, or Powerless. And I actually really enjoyed Powerless a lot more than I expected, which is why I want to give these next two books a chance and see if it could be, um another series that I can enjoy and go from there. I will say though, so I started this today and I'm already done. <laughs> I did not expect to get hooked to this so quickly and I just like didn't expect to read it in one day. Usually I take breaks but I didn't take a break. I literally listened to this for like five straight hours <laughs> and I loved it. I gave it five stars. Um, this is a definitely a slow burn because you end the book with one kiss and that's it between her and I think the guy that she's actually meant to be with. Um, but this follows a girl who lives in this world. The, the world was colonized by gods. And so the gods left their descended to be the rulers. Um, and basically, like, they abuse their power over the mortals. And so this girl, she um, is a healer. She was raised by her mother to be a healer. And so she looks like a descended, but her parents have constantly told her that she's not one. So she's like, I'm not one, I just look like one. And so her mom goes missing and she basically then has to step up and become the next um, healer for the palace like her mother was. So she could uh, basically make sure her brother can stay in school. And so from there she kind of gets pulled into things and her eyes start to actually become open to a lot of the bad things that are be taking place against her people. So... I like enjoyed it. It was it was it hooked me in. I was intrigued by the world building and the magic. I was intrigued by her the mystery of just her and who she is. Um I will say so in, in this book she is with somebody already, but that's not the guy she's going to end up with. Like and you can kind of tell like she's with him just to be with him, but she's not with him because she loves him. Um, and something else is like, she's very frustrating in this book because she's walking down paths that you're like, sis, this isn't going to end well for you. I can tell this. Um, but because she's trying to figure out what to do with her mother being gone, she's just doing anything she can to like, almost survive. Um, I find the royal family, like, very intriguing. I find her origins to be intriguing. Um... And the end of the book ended with a big bang, a kind of intense note. I kind of expected it to be the ending, just with the way the lead up was happening, but I still loved the way that it happened. So I'm definitely about to pick up the second book soon, because I need to know what happens next. But I also have started When the Moon Hatched. This is going to take me a little bit while more to get into, because it's dense in the world building. I'm still trying to figure out. But once I actually have an opinion and thoughts, I will come back and let you know. 
All right, hey friends, it is me checking in to this vlog. So I told you how I wanted to read fantasy romance, and so I started with Spark of the Everflame, which I loved. Um, so the next book I actually just finished was When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. So I give this four stars. Um, in the beginning when I started, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel because I felt like the beginning was very, um, a little overwhelming just with all the things that you were kind of learning about the world and about our character. And it starts off very, like, fast paced. Like, it's not a slow emergence. It's like, no, you start off from jump with the story. So, I appreciate that in some ways. In other ways, I was like, it was kind of, uh, it made me, like, get lost a little bit. So it wasn't about until probably 20% into the book that I finally like was able to my, catch up and like start to really understand what was happening and just like get into the world and the characters. Um, so I'm glad that it didn't take me longer than that because I think if it would have taken me longer I probably would have DM'd. Um, so When the Moon Hatched is about a girl who is an assassin for this guild. And something goes wrong on one of her missions and she gets caught. And so she's imprisoned. And when she's in prison, she met this guy before on her mission, but she really meets him again. She meets the king of the burn, which is like part of like a kingdom in their world. And he realizes like who she is and like he recognizes her and so he helps her escape. But doesn't really explain why. So she's left trying to figure out like what this guy wants. And why he helped her escape. And then also she has a vendetta against um, someone else. And so she's trying to get back to kill them. And so she's having to juggle that this guy won't let her leave. But also she needs to like basically get her vendetta. So... It's interesting. It's like an interesting story. I liked, once I understood the world, I thought the world was very interesting. I definitely liked the dragons element. Um, I liked the characters. Our main girl, she was definitely kind of feisty and brutal. Um, so I liked that she wasn't afraid to stand up for herself. But at times too, I was like, sis, can you just let someone else talk please and thank you because she just like sometimes would make some really interesting decisions that I was like this probably wasn't great but okay um I liked the love interest I thought he was um very interesting I appreciated how patient he was with her and then the fact that he like really didn't let her roll him up like that um and then once you really figure out what his intentions are I really like his devotion um, and just, like, how he carries himself and how much faith he has in their relationship. So I appreciate that overall. Um, there is a trigger warning list in the back of the book, so I would recommend reading those, be reading that, because it does get intense with various pockets of the story, and, um, you're not just getting her POV, you're getting multiple POVs, so expect that um most of them are clear cut so like you're getting uh what's her name Re raves pov you're getting con who's love interest and then you're getting con's sister but there's also um a flash there's flashback chapters from princess elwin who you kind of are like who is this girl and you kind of figure out later and then there's certain chapters called The Other, who you also figure out who that is later, and it kind of blew my mind. Um, I'm hoping that in the next book she kind of explains certain dynamics um, better, because there are certain things you learn in this book, and for me I was confused as to how certain things were able to happen, and it wasn't explained, or if it was I didn't catch it, so I'm hoping in the next book she'll explain that especially in regards to like the dragons and how they die and then the way the magic system works like you're you kind of get an understanding but i would like a clearer understanding 
I'm definitely intrigued to give the second book a chance whenever that comes out. Uh, next, I'm going to be working on Powerful by Lauren Roberts. This is the novella between the first and the second book, so um, this does it. It's not going to take me long to finish, so I'm excited. I am intrigued, and we will go from there once I am finished. Hey friends, it is me checking in for the vlog. Alright, so I finished Powerful by Lauren Roberts, which is the like third romance book I read this this month. I give this three stars, mostly because it was a novella, so it didn't give me all new information, which is fine, but it gave me some new information. So I appreciated that, and that's why I'm like, I can definitely um appreciate this for what it is um it definitely gives you closure on a specific character that you meet in the first book and i appreciated that a lot too because where you where they leave off with that character you're kind of just like how did they get to this point like we didn't everything that happened with them was behind the scenes so we don't know and we're left with a question mark so i'm glad this book was ca like came out and gave us the this is what was happening behind the scenes with this character and this is why they got to the point that they did um, so this made me more excited to check out the second book, which we will do shortly. So the last two books I'm going to be trying to read for this vlog, hopefully in a timely manner, is Reckless, which is book two to the Powerless series by Lauren Roberts, which connects you to Powerful, and then A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle L. Jensen. Um, so these are going to be my last two picks for this vlog, hopefully, and then... We can go from there. So far, I've been liking the books that I'm reading this month for this vlog, so I'm hoping it continues and I enjoy them a lot. Hello, friends. It is me. Um, I'm coming back to basically check in and finish out this vlog because it's been on going on for too long. Um, but I did finish Reckless by Lauren Roberts. This is my last book for this vlog. I gave this book 3.5 stars. I enjoyed it for the most part um i think the thing i liked the most about the first book was that it was just so action-packed and it was just there was always something happening in this one it was a bit slower and it was a bit boring in instances where it was just them traveling or like ha like them talking most of the time so it didn't have the excitement factor of the first book for me, um, and I feel like there weren't really any big revelations, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like nothing big truly happened until the very end, and so for me that just didn't really help the book. And then I actually thought the some of the information we found in the novella, I thought that was going to play into this, and it doesn't. So maybe she has plans for it to come into play in the third book. I think suffered from middle book syndrome for me where it was just slow, not a lot happened, it was just meh, okay. So I'm willing to still read the third book, but I'm like glad this is just going to be a trilogy, I think. Um, in case you don't know, this trilogy, so well, it's supposed to be a trilogy, I think, um, it follows a girl who lives in a world where there are, um, ordinaries, which are people with no powers, mundanes, which I think are the people who have, like, basic powers, and then the, like, elite, I can't remember what they're officially called, but basically the elites are, like, the people who have, like, actual strong abilities, and so our main girl, she is an ordinary who is pretending to be um, a mundane with like a basic psychic ability. And she accidentally gets wrapped up with the prince. And because of that, she is thrown into the competition that happens every like couple of years or year or something like that. And she is forced to basically, um, like, pretend even harder because she's, like, in the presence of the people who actually make the rules. Um, 
And so from there, she, like, kind of learns a lot of information about, like, her father and um, how the kingdom is run and the king himself. And, yeah, a lot happens. So, again, this was, like, a 3.5. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't the first book. So, glad I read it. Glad it's done. Gonna move on. Alright, so I'm gonna end this vlog officially, so hopefully you enjoyed watching me read these books. I've really been enjoying Romanticy a lot this year, so I wanted to just kind of make this vlog just to try some new ones and see how I feel about them. I think out of all the books I read, probably Spark of the Everflame is a, like a new fave. So I'm really glad I found that. If you like the video, like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave all that in the comment section. If you're not good at commenting, leave me an emoji. Let me know some of your favorite romanticy series and I will add them to my uh, list of books to check out. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all sunflowers in the world full of weeds.